Okay. We got one act. One busy pity wiggy. He was munching on some hay. Neither one of them. They were both going. Nacho was over there just a minute ago. Now, Nacho Pig. <laughs> well, you can see his back end, if nothing else. He's laying under the hammock swing. The interesting thing about watching these Beavis and Nacho videos, in my opinion, is the fact that. Beavis is a super tame pig. Some people would call him a Buddha pig. And we've seen plenty of examples of it on the popular channels like Sastia's where she has Buddha boys living together. Now, I don't have another Buddha pig, but um, Nacho, after Butthead passed, Butthead was the dominant pig of the two. And I questioned, too, about that because Butthead was protective of Beavis. One time when Beavis started weeping, Butthead came out, running out, chattering his teeth at me. Even after I let Beavis go, I was working on that five-day taming technique. But he'd come out, chattering his teeth at me, and wouldn't stop until I got away from the cage. Um, but Butthead was, you know, the typical dominant pig of the cage, but he would let Beavis sleep. Him and Beavis would sleep side by side in the same body together. Now, the relationship with Nacho is not the same, but Beavis never humped him, and that's the thing that I've watched lots of pigs where they put adult males with baby boars, and um, they sit there and they hump the baby boars and that, and um, I just think about how easy it went for little Nacho. You, you don't know how lucky you were, little piggy. You don't know how lucky you were. Beavis is a, a, such a tame pig. He didn't hump you at all. But no, when I said a feminine, and, and it was during one of Saskia's live, her, her last live Q&A when she was on her way to the to the rescue from the NorCal 700, um, during that live video, I had mentioned about uh, Beavis having a very a feminine vibe and she didn't understand what I meant. And what I was talking about with a feminine vibe was um, Beavis's, I don't know, ever from the first day that I got him, even though he was a gift, but from the first day I got him, I always had this, um, right off the bat I knew Butthead was the alpha male and that one was the, 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 the effeminate, I don't know, that was just the feeling that I got, that he was kind of a girly pig, if that makes any sense, but he, you know, he's a Buddha boy. I love him to death, don't get me wrong. And it's been interesting watching what kind of father he's made to Nacho, at least. Um, he acts more like a mama pig than Nacho. Um, that's, that's my opinion. He's super tame. But, yeah. And I love Beavis, and I love Nacho, and I worry about him all the time. I don't mean any of that in a negative way or a bad stereotype way. I know there's a lot of negative connotations with that, and I don't mean it in any kind of bad way when I say the effeminate vibe thing. It was just, um, you know, some people believe guinea pigs tell you their names. Some people believe um, guinea pigs take after the personalities of their owners. <laughs> guess that'll explain some drama pigs. <laughs> Ah, uh, but anyway, so, I don't know how this relationship will stay, but because of male pigs, um, the bond is only 20% success rate, and so even though Beavis is a super tame pig, I don't know if Nacho will stay that way. Right now, Nacho's not cooperating for the video, he's back there hiding, um, he was out earlier, but I had to clean this cage out anyway. But yeah, Beavis is just a super tame piggy, and it's been interesting watching how he handles things. He doesn't hump Nacho. His idea um, when to tame Nacho is to put his head on Nacho's shoulder, and that that's how he does. He doesn't hump. He doesn't butt sniff. He doesn't rumble strut. That's just Beavis's way of yeah. Got more like a motherly way of taming 
So it's just interesting watching how this bond goes and that I hope that it continues to go and I hope Nacho will learn some things. He'll never be tame like Beavis, but hoping he'll learn some of his behaviors.